don't know what's in it. I breathe a whole heck of a lot yeah. of it. And I got to tell you, I'm a little concerned because I don't know what's in it. Yeah. Do we know if we have and asked... Not anybody else. Do we know if we've asked search and rescue and recovery teams from other parts of the United States to come and help us out? I guess at this point it's a little hard because they can't travel here. We got a lot of rescue people. We got a lot of cops. We've got, I'm looking at Harrison Police Department from New Jersey. They've got their van over here. I've seen the New Jersey State Police. I've seen Amboy Police from New Jersey. We've got a lot of people standing around. Yeah. They want to do something, but they can't. And I want to press that. I can't impress that enough. They can't. It's just too dangerous. And so we wait. All right, Vince. That's all we can do. Yeah. That's all we can do. Vince, we're glad you're okay. Uh, please stay there. We'll go back to you in just a little bit again. That was building number seven at the World Trade Center, not where the Twin Towers went down earlier. They collapsed within the last 30 minutes or so. In case you're wondering, before we show you this next uh, video, 1945, I know some folks remember this, mm -hmm. an Army Air Corps B-25 twin-engine bomber crashed into the 79th floor of the Empire State Building. That is what a lot of folks here were yes. talking about early this morning, saying that they had, uh, they recalled that, hadn't seen anything like it since. Again, this obviously even far worse than that. 1993, as you saw on the bottom of your screen, the bombing of the World Trade Center. Eight years ago, perhaps many of us thought we were safe yes, after that. Yes, indeed. We want to show you again this exclusive video we have of the second plane as it uh, crashes into that second tower there. So we believe that's the South Tower already on fire, already been hit mm -hmm. by an airliner. Here there is. is the second impact slicing through the building. And again, within uh, actually less than 90 minutes, both towers were completely gone, having collapsed due to the fire and the structural damage sustained by being struck it's by two aircraft. So painful to watch over and over again. Dana Tyler, I believe, has some information for us in the Information Center. Dana? Yeah, we're working on a few things, but I can tell you this, Angela. I just was told that uh, Shea Stadium is a staging area for ambulances. That over in uh, Queens, uh, just to let you know how widespread everything is. So areas over there, ambulances is coming from other parts of our area will be staging there. We got a time on President Bush, 9 p.m. We're also, um, you know, there are a lot of the, the companies that had offices in the World Trade Towers um, have information on their websites, have phone numbers out, and we're working on that for you, some of the different companies and information they're putting out to their employees. Also, no school in Jersey City, no school in West New York, New Jersey tomorrow. New York City schools will be open tomorrow. And again, the places uh, where you can donate blood, uh, the blood center, the one right up here, 150 Amsterdam Avenue, 153, excuse me, 153 East 53rd, another place, and on East 67th Street between 1st and 2nd Avenues, the Red Cross there, accepting donations for blood, O negative, the blood type that's extremely needed at this hour. Angela and Todd, I'm going to get back and check on this uh, information on uh, company information from who was in the towers and uh, we'll get that to you in a second. So okay. back All right, Dana, thank you. Sounds I want to good. correct something unless somebody can correct me from our control room. Mm -hmm. We have a fact there that uh, George W. Bush, the President of the United States, is still at Chichika Air Command and in Nebraska, I do not believe he is in uh, at Office Air Force Base now. We need to take that off. We believe that President Bush is either on his way or is at the White House by now. And we are expecting another statement from the president shortly. He did speak for just a few seconds right. much earlier today, really minutes after the crash. Dana says 9 p.m. looks like that's the time. We want to show you some video now of the Brooklyn Bridge evacuees, as we're calling them. Do we have that video? This is all about folks walking across yeah. the bridge to get out of Manhattan, to get away from the devastation at the World Trade Center facility. And there they are, walking across, uh, you know, through soot and smoke and dirt. Uh, I've been told by members of our staff, our colleagues, that that dirt and soot reached all the way into Brooklyn across yes. the bridge. And, and I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, this does not... I cannot believe this is my country. It looks like footage we've seen from Eastern Europe or from African nations of uh, people having to leave their homelands because of the ravages of war. Uh, but in some ways, war has been declared on the United States today. In a way that uh, is impossible for the United States to fight back immediately, yes. but I think any terrorism expert would tell you, we've had some on today already, that that is the reaction the terrorists want, is to make us feel unsafe, mm -hmm. to make us feel that we are less than than the nation that we know we are. Mayor Giuliani, the governor, and the president, though, all reassuring us we will get through this and that we are protected now. Again, full attack alert across the United States. Um, 
Firearms are drawn by military, by police. Uh, the Air Force is on full alert. Two carrier groups from the U.S. Navy headed here to protect us, the JFK group and the George Washington group, uh, to protect the coast of New York as well as the Northeast United States from further attacks. Again, no firm uh, commitment, no firm uh, statement by any group saying mm -hmm. they are responsible for this. It's gone back and forth. There was speculation hours ago. Many terrorist groups will try to claim credit for right. this. What's most important right now is that unnamed, high-ranking law enforcement officials with the U.S. government say that Osama bin Laden is at the top of their list of suspects. Let's go out to Whitney Casey. She is at St. Vincent's Hospital, and I understand we're actually waiting for the mayor to speak. Whitney? Well, as of right now, I don't know anything about what you just said, the mayor, but I will tell you that just a few moments ago, there was a deluge of ambulance that just flew by here, about two dozen ambulance. And basically what they were doing is most likely going downtown because when we talked to hospital officials, they said that the EMS had just said that they started digging again. Basically, they took a break for an hour because there was so much dust and